Hi, I'm Carl and thanks for checking out my video to my electric bike project that I'm naming Turtle. I live about 15 miles from the nearest town where the post office, gas station, and civilized people live. In April, I sold my truck, leaving a broken down motorcycle and a couple of bicycles. What you're about to see is my attempt at building an off-grid DIY survival quadricycle, a pedal-powered microcar with electric solar assist. I did a little research, but my way is most likely not the best way to do this. Once a week, I ride a bicycle into town to check mail and packages. I like bike riding, so I'm kind of looking forward to trying this out. That's the plan, anyway. Stay tuned and be sure to subscribe if you're interested. Holy crap! <laughs> I know I've got problems up here. The thing that the, the main shaft that bent is actually, I, I tried this on another one, I was able to retwist it and get it straight again. Now that's not long-term solution, but that's not bad. Oh, there we go. That's actually gonna work. <laughs> so let's see. I know I have to take it apart to slide it in. I think I'm going to turn it over. This is the one I had marked as the right side, but that didn't really make any difference, I don't think. I know that it's twisted, uh, the wheels aren't true. When I welded it together, the piece of angle stock that I used, I didn't realize it at the time. I don't think it's completely true at 90 degrees. And I didn't catch that, so when I welded it, I just butted things together. So that's why the wheels never sat quite right. I've been so focused on the back, I honestly haven't spent a lot of time on the front. On the recumbent bikes, there's two types of steering. One, you have a handle, kind of like what I did on, the, on this prototype when I was first testing it. You have a handle directly attached to the steering arm and you when you move your hand you're actually directly moving that wheel and then the tie rod helps you turn the other wheel so if you happen to be not with you know not having both hands on the handlebars it would still work here we are into october and it's almost too warm out here still Set it out there. It's about the right length, so even if I replace it, I'll use that for a starting point. These don't have bearings, it's just a bolt through a hole and a bolt through a pipe as my pivot. So it's pretty sloppy, but for now it'll work. Which thing do I want to do first? On the front axle, these wheels were made to use on carts, and so they're made to use with a half inch bolt as the axle or half inch shaft. So that made it real easy to build these. I just grabbed a bolt, welded it to another bolt, ran it through a pipe, that was it. Um, for now I'm calling that side right, but I don't know if that's the best choice. Yeah, let's try it I guess. I'm trying to think it through, but it's probably faster just to try it. <laughs> All the weight's in the back right now. seen that coming.
Okay, what do we see? The front is really low. I can I can push the I can lift the front quite a bit, but that pushes the back down. So that's the first thing to be concerned about. That's a sucker punch. I didn't see that coming. I thought I had a lot more. Well, here's the thing. I've had this thing sitting up so high on jack stands, I hadn't set it down on the axles for quite a while. And that motor does hang down quite a bit. I could lift the motor up. Everything is adjustable, though. Okay, I'm going to ignore that for now. I'm going to put the time into the front to try to see if I can get that mocked up how I want it. And then I'll work on adjustments. How high do I have to lift before I hit the back? There. Okay. I'm just thinking, like if you come out of a driveway, it's going to be pretty steep before I drag. Eight inches and my wheelbase is so short the problem is it sticks out so far back as much as I think that's a good stopping point I'm starting to get frustrated with this thing so I am going to leave the clamps and everything out leave that assembled as it is I'll we'll look at it fresh tomorrow so when David donated me the bikes I've got one bike that had red wheels and another bike that had blue tires so on this side just the way it worked out I'm gonna put the black wheel on the left side but the red red on right you have to do that does that not look just epic <laughs> Anyway, so for now, I'm putting on, putting this together with the uh, the old tubes, what was on the tires. Uh, they probably leak, but I just wanted to get something on there to hold the, basically to hold the wheels up off the ground, right? So, I mean, you shouldn't just put rims right down on the ground flat, so. Cool. Otherwise, it is just a starkly beautiful day today. messing around with the computer and it was just making me mad and I'm like you know what I should just get out and get to work so I did it's about nine o'clock in the morning beautiful day no wind at all right now which is nice just pop it on quick and get on to the next thing yeah that is pretty cool that the freewheel works though I'm pretty excited about that sit here and take in the brilliance for a minute so where I left off is I basically I was fighting with this pretty hard a couple days ago and uh, I took a couple days off for other reasons not because I was just mad at it but I just needed a way to get the front end mounted at least for testing and if I can get it kind of close to what I want that's that's all the better so I'm kind of trying to find a compromise between doing it really good and just getting it done at the moment there's a lot of problems with that front axle but for now I just kind of want to get something on there that I can start testing with and then pick a day and fix things kind of it doesn't make sense to get everything perfectly straight yet and then realize there's a major problem with something else that you know it's like does it matter if your car starts if your tires are flat Now it's on its feet. You know, that actually doesn't look too bad. With the tires, it gets it up a little higher. If I lift the front, my motor mount in the back gets too close to the ground. I might have to re redo that back there. But right there, that's actually not too bad. I'm not going to be going off-road with this. Honestly, I'm going to try to baby this as much as I can. I need it to work long enough to and make the improvements. I don't want to break it. Oh yeah, we could do 
a pretty steep steep departure on that. That's pretty good. That's a world's first, first time on tires. So I've got these pieces already pre-cut and partially ground down and you know all the paint and stuff knocked down some of it if there's really rough cheese graters all over this finger graters I guess kind of attach it to the axle and have a drop down and then I'll do another flange that I can attach the front axle to I think that'll be fine so let's just start with that All right, I'm gonna just get those uh, tabs welded in place. smoking hot so I'm not going to mess with that but if I cut my other part of the bracket that'll have the opposite angle and then the axle can mount to that so give the generator a break and we'll go back to working with grinders and uh, solar power yeah progress <laughs> I love seeing those blue tires on there that's just fun I hope they last Okay, this worked out really good. I actually had these pieces already cut from something else, score. Plus they've got the flange on the end still, so that gives them a lot more rigidity. So it's got an angle with the front face. So yeah, so I'm gonna do a long bead across and all the way up to here, at least. I might fill this gap in after it's got paint on it. I just wanna get that tacked before I move it again. That's awesome! <laughs> I'm not sure what I was going to say when I started that sentence. But... Well, that's going to be way better. to be perfect but it would be nice if I can go down the road and not be sideways yeah if I can just drill a hole that makes that a whole lot simpler I like that oh I see what's going on there's a good possibility that <laughs> one of these steering arms is about an inch longer than the other or something because one has got clearance and one doesn't. I must have been really in a hurry that day when I, well, this was all built out of scraps just to test it. Oh, I just tore my pants too. Wonderful. Thought I had a breeze. Okay. I guess I just made a pair of shorts. Yeah, I think for now, I'm going to mark this hole, drill it, and then I can bolt that together, and then we can move to the next step. Awesome! Come back in a bit. Cool! This is a weird moment. <laughs> okay, so the question is, 
As it sits now, aside from that one tire that went flat already, it's mobile. I could put power on the motor and it would drive. It's a frightening thought. I don't have a seat and I don't have any brakes and I don't really have steering because I can't control the, the front wheels. Okay. But all I need to do is put the steering arms on, or the handles, right? I guess what I'm thinking though, what I should be doing at this point, build the seat so I have something to sit on. And then, then I know where I need the steering handles to be. On the recumbent bikes, you have a choice. Indirect steering has a mechanism that then reaches out here and moves the tie rod for you through linkages, right? Direct steering, your handle is directly attached to either the bolt itself or, you know, the, the shaft or to the arm. So what I could do is just weld a tab onto here and then have a handle on it. And so to steer, I have to be able to turn this back and forth. This is a lot further than I thought I'd be today. This is great. I should take a day off more often. I'm feeling like I'm getting more done. I think I'm going to be sitting close to here. I have a footstool out here to stimulate my pedals. All right, because you need your feet in front of you when you're pedaling. Part of it is how much leverage do you need when you got weight on this? So you probably would want more. All right, we're gonna have to block something up here. make a chair like this. <laughs> one side bolted together for a handle I just want to see if I got enough leverage because the one tire is flat and I was parked in I guess a little bit of a hole one of the wheels was off the ground when I was sitting there it's like man I hope this thing isn't that twisted I don't have a level spot to really test with so so this is all kind of the seat is just hanging right now so kind of with the right amount of weight. I 
don't know, it's hard to tell. Longer leverage or different direction? That's what I'm not sure about. Kind of like in your car too, when you're sitting still it's harder to steer. I've got so much flex in this piece, that's not helping, plus I'm sitting on... Honestly, I don't like it like this, but... Oh man, this thing's heavy on the back. Okay, I think it's at least good enough to try the next step, so I'll come back. Okay, um, hackeroonie here. So, piece one, piece two, piece three, piece four, sure, okay. Parts of it bolted, parts of it clamped, spliced to clamp, clamped to splice, okay. So I just wanted to try this out with weight on it. Right now it's, right now it works great because there's no weight. So, let's just try this for a second. I put some air in the, or swapped out the back tube. I screwed my seat together a little bit just to keep it from falling apart. Okay, if I bring my foot stool up, gently sit back. I swear these flies are getting aggressive today. Cut! Okay. Put some weight on. City and still is about the worst case, and I'm in the soft again. I got enough leverage there. So, if I was on a harder surface, this would work better. Okay, honestly, I, I give it a couple of pushes with my hands on the front wheels. I got all the way to there. This rolls really nice. But my only way, my only comparison was with the little 10 inch wheel. So obviously 26s would roll nice. Hey, bunny. Hi. <laughs> I'm talking and I see this thing come running right towards me. I'm like, we're under attack. How funny. Okay, let's go bring it back now. That's the hard part. Definitely making progress here. Some giant sized mechano would be right in my element here. Okay. 
Now I'm understanding why they had those out so far. Yeah, I think I can get used to that. A little farther forward, though, I think would be good. That's close, actually. The foot is going the wrong way, though. And it's a little bit too short, but I like the angle of it. Okay, we'll keep this up here for a reminder. I just wanted to get a shot of this one in action here. So, right hand side, this side, I know that because it says right hand. I might leave that because I really suck with the navigation and it would be nice if I turned in the right direction. I used to think I was going to do that in my truck, put a sticker up there. GPS. Turn right. I don't know which way that is. Okay. So out here I've got pretty good leverage. And it's really not that weird, I don't think, having it that far out. You know, and I can bring my hand all the way to here, or I can rest it, you know, and I still got access to the wheel somewhat. I could see getting stuck there if I really get stupid. Wait. Yeah, fell apart again. Anyway, so I just wanted to get a shot of that before I take all this side apart. And if I would have thought I would use this as much as I did, I would have done a better job. <laughs> I am loving single bolt to take the wheel off. That is one of the cool things. I mean, it's. I guess it's more like a, a regular bicycle should be, right? But it is just so easy to pop a wheel off here. And I guess, you know, when it comes right down to it, all I got to do is cut through the welds. It's not that big of a deal. You know, it's not as permanent as you think it is, I guess. By doing one side at a time, I could check it before I did the other side. And just in case I got confused, because this is a weird orientation. The handle goes out the same way as the axle. It doesn't seem like how it should be. Just like that. I'm gonna take all this stuff apart and then the new handle will go right on there. That was probably even in the shot. Right on. All right, putting this back together. Second side welded. Yeah, the shadows just really make it hard to see what's going on sometimes. Super focused. <laughs> Stuff just flying. Ooh, the water dish. I just missed it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm not willing to run into that, but I was thinking about it. I think, yeah, I could reach back to these as I'm getting in when they get a little stronger. One key point. <laughs> I was so, so far ahead of myself, I forgot. 
I'm gonna have a heck of a time putting a twist grip throttle on a square peg. They're always made for round handlebars. Hmm, that make you a little different. Brake handles, I should be able to improvise though. But for now. Oh, this was my idea. I didn't Damn it. That was really annoying. Okay. Uh, the one idea was um, trolley, or not trolley brakes, st uh, stagecoach brakes, basically a shoe that pushes right up against the tire, right? Which for now would be fine, just to slow me down a little bit. But then I thought, what if I just had a hook? So I pulled the handle and it actually digs into the ground. I mean, I'm not likely to be going that fast anyway, so any kind of drag that is better than me putting my feet down, I think would be fine. Although for now, I think I'll put my feet down. Okay, I was very tempted to run in and grab the battery and the controller and... We'll save that for another day. I'm gonna do one more. And by one, I mean probably a lot. <laughs> Little trips down the hill here. <laughs> a turtle leash. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I ran into this was this is going to be part of the evolutionary process of this. When I put everything on the rear axle, all of the drive sprockets and free wheels and everything, there isn't really positive lock to keep things from moving side to side yet. There is a little bit, but I noticed that something had slipped, and so the uh, the couplings I made are disengaged at one point, so it'll coast, but it's not going to, um, I can't run the motor on that just quite the way it is right now. Yeah, the, okay, I, I put some screws, a couple screws into the seat to hold it together so it wouldn't fall apart every time I looked at it, and then I got a few clamps holding it sort of in place, and I think this is going to be pretty much the sitting, sitting seating position. So the front edge of the seat, I'm going to put up right to the front of the frame. It's actually about an inch back right now, but I think that's where I, as a starting point. And I, I really want to test it like this a little bit. I think if I test it with the motor for a, a few days and then get the pedals mounted. Cool. So there's a little drop here and then up, up a ways there's another drop. I still don't have a place to put my feet. That's turning the motor and I don't even hardly notice it. That's kind of cool. I could hear this weird noise and I realized I was actually turning the motor. I'm going to call that a really cool test. Oh. <laughs> That's got the motor engaged and it still had enough low enough resistance to try to roll down the hill without me. That's kind of cool. Got to have some fun once in a while, right?
this is the new favorite place right here. I'm gonna have to play with that angle a little bit. But that's actually, I think it's too steep, but it's not bad. And also from here, I probably wouldn't need much above here, right? But the headrest, I don't know, do I need a headrest? I don't really think I do. Okay, it would be, well, if it was here, it would have to be, I might experiment without one, honestly. So steering, once you're rolling, it doesn't take very much to twist it. I'm fighting a lot of resistance just in the bad pivots that I've got because they, they bind up a little bit. Uh, there's still some flex, but there's just a lot of play in the pivots. It's not a, not a good pivot design. Okay, so that's easy to fix. Really. I think I like the idea if I just bore it out and put uh, 5 8 bolts in there, that would take care of that. I really want to get bearings somehow. That's the question, is how, right? Um, yeah, there is a lot of, just a lot of clunkiness in there. I cannot believe how low my rolling resistance is though. I mean, I, I was kind of pushing it off the wheels a little bit, but I think I rolled further further without the ramps, right? Because I mean, the ramps give me a pretty good shot, but the little wheels and everything had a lot of resistance. This feels like it's really going. And coming back when I had the motor engaged and turning, that was really low resistance. So that's pretty cool. I guess what that means is it's not gonna take too many watts to move this kind of what I'm thinking. So if I had a couple panels, you know, 150 watts, 200 watts, something like that, that might be enough. That's kind of cool. I did not expect to get this far today. As far as actually functional steering and end of the seat and it's pretty cool. I like the handlebars, so I think that'll work. It, it's it feels weird, but once you get them on there, you know. And if if nothing else, you could you know drive one-handed when you're just cruising, and you know. It's a starting point anyway. You know, maybe I'd want them further forward, or I probably would like to build some adjustability into it. But I saw somebody else comment on that one time, and they're like. Don't put adjustability in a prototype, really. You know, unless you're just so unsure of where something has to be, keep it simple and then dial it from there. Yeah, this is this is gonna be all right. I'm pretty excited. Ah, pretty excited. As a quick hack, I'm, I'm really excited about the seat. That's. I can build now that I can use that as a template to build what I'm going to whatever I'm going to do for the seat and honestly from a simplicity simplicity point of view it makes sense to keep this for now and move on to the next part of the project and then come back to the seat honestly as that sits right now I could put one of the black totes forward of the axle and I'd have more than enough room for behind the axle still. I'd rather spend the time dialing in the drive motors and stuff like that. Okay, stop talking. Good. Heck of a day. That's the plan anyway. Stay tuned and be sure to subscribe if you're interested. Holy crap. <laughs>